I'm so excited for my first day at my new school. It's a new private high school that just opened up in Elkford. Hey Erin. Morning Metal. Do you need a ride to school? No thanks. I'll walk today. Okay kid, I have band practice after school today, so tell mom I will be home later. See ya. Bye Metal. My older sister didn't transfer. She wanted to stay at our old high school. Metal is in a band. They're pretty good. Our grandfather was in a band, and so was our father. I guess the music gene skipped over me. Hey Kennedy. Hey Erin. Kennedy is my cousin. She's my mom's older brother's daughter. They moved away when I was six, and now they're back in Elkford. Do you mind if I walk with you to school? I don't mind. Let's go. Oh shoot. We only have five minutes. Oh no. Maybe we should speed it up a bit. Ah. Uh, I can't believe I'm late. I have to meet with my guidance counselor before class. It's okay, Erin. It's only the first day. Things like this happen. I guess. Let's get out of here. Hey, Leighton. Hey, what are you doing? Um, Leighton is my bestie. We knew each other since we were babies. Our moms were best friends growing up in school. She's tough. Brave and heavily into sports just like her mom. She goes by her last name because she hates her first name, Nancy and Tina. I'm waiting to fix my class schedule. I have two classes that overlap. So annoying. Yikes. Where are you going? I'm going to volleyball tryouts. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> what can I say? I have to run. Good luck. Thanks. Jake. Oh, hey, Erin. How are you? I'm doing well. How's your first day so far? It's too early to tell. Well, I have to go. I guess I'll see you around. It's always awkward running into Jake now. We were real best friends. Jake, Leighton and I did everything together. We were the three musketeers, until about five months ago. He admitted that he had feelings for me, but I didn't feel the same. Now it's awkward. I miss him so much. I hope we can be friends again one day. Sharon? I'm Erin. Sharon is my mother. I'm sorry. You look so much like your mother. So I'm told. Your guidance counselor will see you now. Thanks. Finally. That's handled. I need to freshen up before class. Erin Jones, of all people, what are you doing here? It's a bathroom, Nina. What do you think I'm doing here? Just stay out of my way and there won't be any issues. Whatever, Nina. I wonder if Ace is going to be in our class. Oh jeez. You really like him, don't you? More than you know. We had a moment two days ago, when he was moving in. A moment? Yeah, I was walking my dog, and ran into him. We just started chatting, and all of a sudden I was hit past. So? What happened? Did you exchange numbers? No, we didn't get a chance. He went in to help his dad carry a table, and my mom called demanding me to come home. That sucks. I hope everything works out. Me too. Hello class. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Grander. I'm going to start roll call. Tana Castile Pizan? Here. Erin Jones? Here. Nunziatina Layton? 
I go by Layton. Last name only, please. <laughs> Shut up, Drew. It's her family name. Okay, Layton is fine with me. Jake McKenzie. Here. Kennedy Spitz. Here. Sorry I'm late, but I had to make a grand entrance for my first day. And you are? The one and only, Nina Rosenberg Spitz. <laughs> You're probably wondering why does Nina Jr. have my mom's family name? Well, remember when I said my brother and his family left when I was six? Well, they left because my uncle cheated on his wife Hannah with Nina's mom, who is also named Nina. And I know that you pieced the puzzle together. Unfortunately, Nina is my cousin. But let's forget about that. They left because he was afraid to lose Hannah, so they moved away to rebuild the trust in their marriage. They seem to be fine now, and Nina's mom married Isaac. He was a star athlete at my parents' high school. He played professional ball and cared for Nina like his own. I feel like this will be weird. Having Nina and Kennedy in the same room. Sisters, who probably never spoken to each other a day in their lives. Nina, you can have a seat, now. Sure thing. Oh geez. I guess that's everyone. Welcome to homeroom. Hi, is this homeroom with Mrs. Granger? Yes it is. I just got transferred into your homeroom. What's your name? Ace Montgomery. Okay Ace Montgomery. Find an empty seat and I'll add you to the roll. Okay. Hello Ace, nice accent you have there. Where are you from? Hey, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. How cool. OMG. Could she be any more obvious? You know Nina. She doesn't waste any time. Tell me about it. Ace will be mine. So what do you want to do after school today? Let's go to Life Cycles. We haven't been all summer. Great idea. Look, there's Marilyn. I heard she was coming here as well. Where? By the lockers. Hey, Layton. Are you trying out for volleyball this afternoon? Hey, Marilyn. I went to the morning tryouts. They held two separate tryouts since everyone's schedule is different. Okay. I hope to see you on the court tomorrow. Okay. Is she going to ignore me the whole time? I know she sees me standing here. It is a bit weird. Hi, Marilyn. Can't speak? Oh, hi, Erin. I didn't notice you there. You didn't notice me standing right next to Layton? Sorry. I guess I was looking past you. Well, I have to get going. See you around, Layton. Marilyn never really liked me. It was always awkward because she gets along with all of my friends. Her mom used to date my dad in high school, before he got back with my mom. Her mom didn't care too much for my mom in high school. So I guess it's a hereditary trait. I can't believe her. Our mothers might not be each other's biggest fans, but we shouldn't let it affect us. You're right. I hope one day you guys can become friends. Ha, huh, probably not. Her brother Mario is nice, though. Yes, Mario is great. You like Mario, don't you? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Time will tell. Ready to go to lunch? Yes. Let's go, I'm starving. Look, it's Mario. Hey, Layton. Hey, Aaron. The Mario is Marilyn's twin brother. They have an older brother, too. His name is Ali. He's really hot. He's in a couple of grades ahead of us. Did you two enjoy your summer? Yes, we did. Erin and I went to Camp Kukla. Did you enjoy your summer? Yes, I did. I traveled a lot this summer with my family. Marilyn and I was going to go to Camp Kukula this summer too, but we wanted to travel as a family before my dad leaves. Oh, 
Where's he going? He's going to Europe for a year for work. Marilyn really wanted to go to this school, so he decided to go on assignment for extra money. Oh, well that was nice of him. This is a pretty good school, and it's looks good on applications. Yes, that's true. Marilyn can just be a brat sometimes. No argument here. Erin. What? It's okay. I know Marilyn can be a little rude to you. Well, I have to go. It was nice running into you. Later, Erin. See you around, Layton. See you around. See you later, Mario. You got it bad, says the girl who is crazy about this Montgomery. Oh, Ace. He's so cute. Isn't he? I guess. I hope I have another class with him. Hey, Erin, right? Hey, Ace, how are you? I wanted to speak to you in home room earlier, but I didn't get a chance. It's okay. I really had fun hanging out with you the other day. I had fun too. Well, I guess I should take a seat. Ace, why don't you sit next to me, man? Um. Sure, I guess. I guess I'll see you around there then. Why didn't I ask him to sit with me? Hello, Mr. McKenzie. There is a seat right next to Miss Jones. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Hi, Jake. Hey. Jake, can we please forget about what happened and go back to the way things were? It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry that you feel uncomfortable, Erin, but how do you think I feel? I feel embarrassed every time I look at you. Jake, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. There's nothing you can say. Are you really mad at me for not feeling the same way you do? That's not fair. I can't force myself to feel romantic feelings for you. It doesn't work that way. We were all best friends and you caught me by surprise out of nowhere. I was harboring that secret for five years, Erin. I wanted to be honest with myself. Five years. We're only freshmen, Jake. Are you saying you had feelings for me since fourth grade? Yes, Erin. That's exactly what I'm saying. Get it now? No, Jake. I'm actually more confused than ever. All this time I looked at you as one of my best friends, or even a brother. I'm sorry. But that's the truth. I'm always honest with you. I tried to be considerate of your feelings. But that she gives you no right to treat me like a jerk. I keep trying because I love you like family, but I will leave you alone and ignore you if that's what you really want. I can't talk about this anymore, Erin. Erin, wait. Yes, Ace. Are you okay? It looked like you and that Jake guy was fighting a lot. It was nothing. It's boyfriend. Oh goodness no. But he was one of my best friends. We had a falling out. That's too bad. Where are you headed now? I'm meeting Leighton. We're going to head over to Life Cycles. We haven't been all summer. What's a Life Cycles? It's a laundry mat smoothie cafe kind of place. I know it sounds odd, but a lot of us teens hang out there. Interesting. Where is it? That building on the corner of Elm. Oh, that new little bistro cafe place. No. I don't think so. We drove by the street the other day and saw a grand opening sign. That can't be life cycles. It just can't be. I have to find Layton. What if life cycles did get closed down? Relax her in. I can't see that happening. It's been around since our moms were preteens. So, I heard about your fight with Jake. Boy, news travels fast. Did you guys at least reach a truce? A peace treaty? Something? No. He's so stubborn. And I'm fed up with his attitude. I get it. He barely even talks to me. We still speak but it's not the same, considering we used to speak every day. Now it's once a week or every other week. I'm sorry, Layton. 
I didn't mean to affect your friendship with Jake. It's okay. It's not your fault. If Jake doesn't want to hang out, that's his decision. What happened? We need answers. I'm so in shock. We've been gone for only one summer and all this happened. What happened to Life Cycles? The owners sold it. They weren't making enough money since their customer base were mainly teens, and a lot of them weren't even buying anything. So they sold it, and the new owners turned it into a cafe bistro. Wow. I can't believe it. Where are we going to hang out now? I don't know. This sucks. Should we stay and give this place a chance? Maybe we should. A table for two, please. You got it. I can't find what I need. Nina? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Says. Let's get one thing clear. I don't need your debts or even your acceptance. I sick as my father. That's why I got my name hyphenated, and trust me if it was up to me I would have dropped the spits altogether. I don't want the name of a man who took off as soon as he found out my mother was pregnant. Look Nina, I don't want to fight with you. Whatever that's going on with our parents is their business. That shouldn't keep us from getting to know each other. We don't need to get to know each other, as far as I'm concerned I sick as my father. And your dad is just some thought, who couldn't keep it in his pants. Wow well, Nina, I guess I heard enough about you to not be surprised. Stay classy. I'm out of here. I don't need her pity. I don't need any of the spitzes. I'm too good to be a part of their family anyway. I'm good looking. My dad is in the league. We live a very luxurious lifestyle and my mom is awesome. Not some flatty hippie like her mom. I'm a winner, and they are nothing but a bunch of losers. Nina had some nerve. I'm not going to let her ruin my day. Hey, Kennedy? Right? Yes, that's me. I think you're in my biology class. Yes, with Miss Fraser. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out sometime. Sure, that would be great. I'm new in town. I mean, I was born here but we moved away when I was just a kid. We moved back to Elkford this summer, so I don't really know anyone outside of family. I can totally introduce you to some people. Are you free today? Yeah! Come on. Let's go. Well at least the food was good. I am so full. I feel like my button on my pants is going to pop. <laughs> I'm still going to miss life cycles though. Yeah, another chapter closes, but a new one begins. Are you getting philosophical on me? Just dealing with the many changes of life. You might as well roll with the punches. True. I'm going to run inside and get my jacket. Did you want to come in or wait outside? I'll wait. It's such a beautiful day. Okay, I'll be back. Jake. Wake up. Hey, Layton. Don't worry. Aaron is inside. Okay, good. I was actually waiting out here hoping I would run into you. Why are you being so hard on Aaron? Not only that, you've been acting funny towards me. I'm sorry that you got mixed up into this, Layton, but I wanted to distance myself from Aaron completely. That's your best friend. It would be too weird. We were all best friends. All three of us. I know. This isn't like you, Jake. You're one of the nicest and sweetest guys I know. Why are you being so harsh? I'm just embarrassed, Layton. I'm so mad at myself for saying anything. I humiliated myself. Because I took the risk I ruined everything. Now it's awkward all of the time, and when our parents get together for their weekly gatherings I have to come up with an excuse as to why I can't make it. But Jake, you live across the street. Are you going to avoid her for the next few years? Don't you want to put an end to the awkwardness? Just so you both can run into each other without it being weird. I don't know if I can get past this, Layton. Yes, you can, Jake. Just one step at a time. 
I'll tell you what, why don't I get out here, and when Erin comes outside talk to her. Tell her that I had to leave. Something came up or something. And use this moment to really talk to her. You don't have to be friends, but at least be on good enough terms where you don't fight in the middle of class. I guess you're right. I'll try. Fantastic. I'll get out of here. Jake? Hey Erin. Where's Leighton? She had to leave. But I need to talk to you. Okay. I'm sorry for fighting with you in class today. I guess seeing you around is just harder than I thought it would be. It was different when you were away at camp, but now I have to see you. I can't run from it now. You don't have to run from me, Jake. When I see you, I just feel like time froze and we're still on that mountain. See? Didn't I tell you? You're right. It's beautiful. We should have asked Leighton to come with us. There's a reason why I picked Leighton's basketball practice day to come up here. Erin, I have to tell you something. We don't have secrets, Jake. You can tell me anything. Erin, you're a wonderful person. One of the best people I know. Thanks, Jake. Ditto. What I'm trying to say is... I'm in love with you. Say what? I'm in love with you. Erin, you're my dream. My beautiful dream. Jake. Wait a minute. That cap. Is this a joke? Are you messing with me? No. I love you. I love you too, Jakey. But he's a friend. Oh. Jake, I'm stunned. I don't know what to say. We never flirted with each other, or gave any type of clues, so this is all a big shock to me. So that's it then? I'm sorry, Jake. I don't feel the same way. I guess I should leave. Jake, wait. No, I think I need to get out of here. Why did this have to happen? We might not be able to go back to the way things were, but I want to try at least being cordial acquaintances. And maybe one day being friends. Best friends? I don't think we can ever be that close again, Erin. But I know I don't want you as an enemy. I'll take what I can get, Jake. So we will start over. Hello, I'm Jake. I'm Erin. It's nice to meet you, Erin. 